Namaste, Namaste everyone. Welcome to photoelectric effect class. So we will be discussing about problems today, right? Already we have discussed some problems, and here is the fourth one. Th three problems we have uh, discussed already, and here is the four fourth one. But before going to this fourth problem, let us recap all the formulas ones, right? Namaste. Hope you are doing well, right? Everything is going well, and uh, uh, try to use the classes to the maximum because. I uh, have found uh, some uh, um, uh, uh, messages released by the CBSC board uh, saying uh, some uh, portions which have been cut off from the uh, main syllabus uh, from the CBSC itself. Uh, they have given it. Of course, Karnataka government will follow the same later, but they have not announced. They will follow it. But the portions left behind are so lesser and lesser in some chapters that they, they expect that to be done within, 20, uh, uh, within uh, uh, some uh, days, right? Uh, some 25, they say that 25% of the portion is cut off, something like that. I don't know exactly the percentage. But those items removed from some chapters are so small items that they don't uh, give us any relaxing time at all. Suppose it is a 9 hour chapter, some small portions are removed. But uh, some, uh, uh, some portions which are removed has to be told in the class. They expect that all these things are done in the previous uh, 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 lower classes, so you need not do that. But we have to do it in order to recap. So once the classes start, you will never get any time for uh, relaxation. Provided if you have studied something in the uh, holidays, it will be helpful. Otherwise, it becomes very hectic. So those who are not watching the classes will be definitely in a trouble once the classes start. Because we are also in a, not in a position to help you after that. So the portions left don't serve anything. And they don't give us so much of relaxation. And they say that, uh, people say that, uh, the uh, authorities say that so much percentage of portion is uh, deleted. But uh, it doesn't look like that actually in practice. And you need, if you need more explanation, you have to attend more classes. But attending classes all at once is not possible. You need some relaxation once in a week. You need some relaxation in a day. Such relaxations you won't get. Then it becomes very hectic. So better you follow this. For those people who are not watching classes properly, it is a very hectic one. Okay, uh, now we will move on to our job. So before going to this um, um, yeah, um, problem, uh, let us remind, rewind uh, the formulas. Einstein's equations, H nu is equal to H nu not, uh, sorry, H nu is equal to work function plus kinetic energy. H nu is equal to work function can be written as H nu naught, where nu naught is the minimum frequency we have given just to remove the electrons, that is work function, plus kinetic energy can be written as half mv maximum square. And if it is given in the form of wavelength, hc by lambda is equal to hc by lambda naught, where lambda naught is the threshold wavelength, the maximum wavelength below which photoelectric emission takes place. Minimum frequency above which photoelectric emission takes place, because if you want to increase the energy, decrease the wavelength. If you want to increase the energy, increase the frequency, directly proportional. So plus kinetic energy maximum, or E maximum you can write, right? And if I want to write it, kinetic energy maximum, H in nu is equal to work function plus, what is kinetic energy maximum? E V naught, where V naught is the stopping potential. Because any potential difference of the battery is the work done in taking the charge. So remember this always. Work done in taking the charge is the potential difference. What is work done? Q into V. So work done uh, uh, in stopping the electrons, same uh, work. So work done in accelerating a, uh, uh, vehicle is equal to work done in stopping it. So it is same. So work done is charge in potential. Charge of electron is E. V naught is the stopping potential. That it should be itself should be the kinetic energy. These are the formulas. Now, when we come to the level of electrons, atom, the energies of electrons and atoms are so less that uh, suppose an electron when it jumps from one energy level to another energy level it may have some energy and it may give some energy the energy difference is in the order of say suppose uh, the energy is uh, some 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules you say how much low see here how much low it is 10 to the power minus 19 joules so when, when you have such a small scale of energy with electrons and protons and uh, uh, atoms do you have any uh, 
uh, uh, any other convenient unit which will uh, uh, which, which, which will be suitable without all those zeros and alls right so when you want to weigh a very uh, heavy uh, one load of sand you put you put it in tons right it's so many tons of sand you say but when you measure rice you put it in kgs because that is the order when you go to the gold you say it in grams and uh, when you go for still lower one milligrams and uh, we have still smaller weighing method weighing units here for the energy of electrons there is another uh, unit for uh, energy of electrons and accelerated charge particle that is electron volt okay what is electron volt i will explain it and then i'll go to the problems because this is very much needed in the next modern physics chapters uh, maybe dual nature of matter maybe next chapter atoms nuclei all those chapters should uh, need this one because all are related to atoms nuclei and all what is electron volt electron volt is like this suppose you have a, um, a vacuum tube say it is vacuum right and here is an electrode and here is a very strong battery battery has having a potential difference of v voltage of the battery is v i will place an electron here i will place the electron and i will ask the electron in the beginning electron electron how do you feel sir negative of the battery is completely repelling me sir it is just pushing me away what about the positive of the battery positive of the battery is ready to receive me sir so what will electron do simply move away here so electron is completely repelled by negative of the battery attracted by the positive of the battery so electron is having no other way it has to move from negative of the negative to the positive now electron gains a kinetic energy now i say a sentence that electron is falling in an falling in an electric field sir is this falling yes moving under the direction of any field is called falling if i drop a ball it falls in the gravitational field if i leave a iron piece towards a magnet ma iron piece goes towards the magnet iron piece is falling in the magnetic field because magnetic field directs the iron piece to move electric charge is uh, falling in a electric field where is the electric field it is created between the positive and negative terminals of this uh, anode and cathode so this is an uh, uh, this is uh, uh, anode and uh, sorry this is anode and this is cathode anode is positive and cathode is negative okay so it is made to fall now what is the fate of this electron by the time it reaches here its kinetic energy will be very high when i drop the ball i it was in my hands its velocity is zero and no kinetic energy as soon as i leave it gravitational force attracts it because i don't have any other force which is pulling above because i have left it the ball starts falling down and down and down and by the time it reaches the ground it will have highest kinetic energy electron after falling through this electric field moving in an electric field by the time it reaches here it will have highest kinetic energy what is the kinetic energy gained by the electron kinetic energy gained by the electron is work done again work done in taking a charge is the potential difference of the battery now who has made this charge to move from here to here it is nothing but battery battery has done that job it is not ourselves battery has pushed it from here and attracted towards this what is you ask the battery how much work you have done sir work done by the charge i have moved itself is called potential difference sir my potential difference itself is how much work i have done in moving the charge what is the charge here so what is the work done it is charge into potential difference that is ev right this is the work done and this itself is the kinetic energy gain sir you have explained this already now suppose if i give 1 volt of potential difference here if this is 1 volt how much kinetic energy that electron will gain you can write this formula now so i'll wrap this if you want to know what is the kinetic energy gained by the electron ev charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into the potential difference gained is a 1 uh, sorry a potential difference given by the battery is 1 volt so this is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules that is the energy gained by the electron ev got it now but if you want to stop it you have to reverse it so right you have to reverse give the reverse potential in photoelectric effect in order to stop it 
So that is the kinetic energy. Sir, this is a very small energy. Put it in electron volt. What is one electron volt then? One electron volt is the energy gained by the electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. That is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. I call this itself as one electron volt. This is not for one or two more questions. In the no one or two more questions will appear in this. What is one? Okay, one electron volt definition may be asked. One electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 joules. Okay. So you can define one electron volt like this. One electron volt is the energy gained by an electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. The sentence should be very proper. When you accelerate an electron through a potential difference of one volt, how much energy does it gain? That energy is a one electron volt. How much is one electron volt in joules? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So this is what I need. Don't by heart it. Simply remember it like this. So one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules because one electron volt is the energy gained by the electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. So one volt into charge of electron this much. Suppose any energy is given in electron volt, how to convert it into joules? For example, an electron gains an energy of 10 electron volt. How to convert it into joules? Divided by one, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, multiplied by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Whole thing becomes joules. Suppose energy is given in joules, for example, uh, joules say uh, 20 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules of energy is the energy of electron how much is it is in electron volt divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 that becomes electron volt how comes sir? very simple see i want to convert this right i want to convert this right cross multiplication method one electron will volt means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So such a small energy is taken as one electron. 100 kg is taken as something, right? 1000 kg is taken as something like that. 100 centimeter is taken as one meter. Such a large quantity is taken as one meter. So uh, something like that. So uh, 10 electron, sorry, one electron is volt is taken as 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Such a small quantity is represented as one EV. Now, you want to convert 10 electron volt, right? How did you come to know that, sir? You have to multiply by 1.6. Very simple. 1 electron volt means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. 10 electron volt means how much? Finish into 10. Sir, I want to convert 10 in 20 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules to electron volt, sir. How to convert? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules means? 1 electron volt. 20 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules means how much? Is it so? Same thing. This much joules means 1 electron volt. This much joules means how many electron volt? Finish. So, if you want to convert any joules to electron volt, divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. If you want to convert any electron volt to joules, multiplied by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Maybe a little bit confusing, uh, confusing in the beginning, but later on you can pick it up, no problem. Because you are going to use it again and again and again and again, then you will remember. But once in the examination under pressure, if you forget it, if you know this theory, you can do that. One electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules, that you must know. Now coming back to the problem. So you should have a pen and paper, if you don't have that, go and bring it, keep the video in a mute mode, uh, not mute, uh, pause mode, go back, bring a paper and then start the video, otherwise it's of no use, simply if you watch it like a movie, no use at all, right, you have to bring uh, uh, a piece of paper, calculator, everything, now go to the problem, ultraviolet radiations <coughs> of wavelengths, 800 angstroms, 700 angstroms. I'll write it. Lambda 1, 800 angstroms into 10 to the power minus 10 angstroms. Uh, Fermi, 10 to the power minus 15 meters. Nano, 10 to the power minus 9. Micro, 10 to the power minus 6. Milli, 10 to the power minus 3. So this is angstroms. And another one is how much angstrom? 
700 angstrom. Now can you tell me which is more energetic in this? Which radiation is more energetic? Can you tell me? 10 to the power minus 10, me uh, 10 minus 10 meters. Which is more energetic? 700 angstroms. Because energy E equal to HC by lambda. Lesser lambda denominator. More energy. Frequency more, energy more. No problem. E is equal to H nu. Directly proportional. See, all these discussions inside the brain make the formula very firm. Make the idea very clear. Every time you have to analyze it. Okay. Uh, uh, this, lamb, this energy is less. This energy is more. Wavelength inversely proportional to energy. When allowed to fall on the same metal surface, are found to liberate electrons with the maximum kinetic energies of 2 electron volt and 4.1 electron volt. Okay. Um, uh, this is kinetic energy maximum for one is uh, uh, which one two electron volt automatically these whether these values are correct or should I interchange it uh, other way check it whether it is right see whether the problem is proper whether this should yield two electron volt energy and this should yield for 4.1 electron volt uh, kinetic energy yes correct why more wavelength, lesser energy incident. You are given lesser money for grandma's uh, journey, grandma's house. Lesser money, lesser remaining energy. More money, inversely proportional to wavelength, right? Lesser wavelength, more energy. More energy given, more energy remaining. You are given 200 rupees, you have 130 rupees in your pocket. You are given only 100 rupees, you have 30 rupees in your pocket. 70 rupees for traveling. So, correct, values are correct, right? So, this is how you have to analyze. Then, uh, respectively, calculate the value of Planck's constant. Okay. Now, when these things are different, take a surface, put a radiation, let the electrons come, one kinetic energy. Take another radiation, electrons come out, another kinetic energy, different kinetic energy. But one thing is same, surface. What is same for the surface? Work function. Because you are not changing the surface. You are changing only incident radiation. Does work function depend on the incident radiation? Does the money that you give for conductor depends on how much you have taken from your father? No. Whatever the money you take from your father, it should be more than the required money for journey. Uh, new should be greater than new not. Uh, whatever the money you take uh, from your father, you give only 70 rupees to you, the conductor, not more than that. Similarly, work function is a constant. Work function is a constant. So that can be deleted after writing in the formula. You have to write two formulas. Problem itself says you have to write two formulas. Somehow they get deleted. Then what else? Planck's constant answer. Okay. Which is the formula needed? Formula. Every time better you write the, uh, this one. Formula. Because we will get an answer key uh, to give the marks for the problems in the final exam. They will write. For a formula, give this much. Substitution, give this much. If there is no formula, you will lose the formula mark and you will, you may be having the correct answer. What is formula? In terms of wavelength you have to write, right? Hc by lambda, uh, lambda is equal to incident energy, h nu. Uh, work function phi naught is enough. That gets cancelled when I subtract the equations. Because they are same. You need not write it as hc by lambda naught. Not needed. Plus kinetic energy. Yes. First formula for this one. Hc by lambda, h we don't know, we have to get this answer, right? Uh, it is 6.2 you are getting, okay, let it be. Uh, it should be 6.6 into 10 to the minus 34. Uh, I don't know, there may be some uh, difference in the data. Whatever it is, let us substitute. Lambda hc, h is to, to be taken as unknown. c, 3 into 10 to the power 8, divided by lambda 1, 800 into 10 to the power minus 10, plus phi naught plus, ah, sorry, is equal to phi naught plus kinetic energy 1, 2 electron volt. But if this is in uh, joules, this is in joules, this should be in joules. If this is in electron volt, this is in electron volt, this is in electron volt, no problem. You can't add 2 rupees to 50 paisa. You have to convert 50 paisa as uh, half rupee and then add to 2 rupees, 2 and half rupees. You can't write 2 rupees plus 50 paisa is 250 rupees. Not possible. Units are different. So if it is electron volt, electron volt, electron volt, no problem. Joule, 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 no problem. So 2 electron volt. 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. 2 electron volt is 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. One equation is over. Let us write the equation for O. Which I did I write? Hc by O. I took lambda from here. 
and uh, ah yeah yeah right this one this one all uh, yes correct now this is one set and this is one set let us write it for this set h to be found out c 10 to the power 8 700 right more energetic photon sc by lambda same work function same material energy of the electrons is more 4.1 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so electron volt multiply by 1.6 because in electron volt you see e is multiplied to v right so multiply the electron volt value to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules to convert joule to electron volt divided okay uh, what else shall we subtract the two equations subtract them what you will get when you subtract the two equations you get um, see here only 800 and 700 are different everything is same right I will subtract this this because this is greater this is lesser so h into 3 into divided by uh, shall I write this uh, 800 and uh, 10 to the power minus 10 700 and 10 to the power minus 10 10 to the power minus 8 uh, minus 8 10 to the power 8 3 into h into 3 into 10 to the power 8 8 into 10 to the power minus 8 7 into 10 to the power minus 8 1 by 7 minus 1 by 8 any doubt or you can write it and uh, you can write the two steps again and you can write it this is 8 into 10 to the power minus 8 this is 7 into 10 to the power minus 8 when I subtract common things h into 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 10 to the power minus 8 1 by 7 minus 1 by 8 is equal to phi naught minus phi naught 0 this one 4.1 minus 2 and this is common 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 4.1 minus 2 is it so 4.1 minus 2 and this is common yeah we will write one more step h into 3 into 10 to the power 16 isn't it h into 3 10 to the power minus 8 goes to the numerator 10 to the power 16 is equal to uh, sorry into 56 common 7 8s are 8 8 7s are 7 1 8 minus 7 is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and into 4 minus 2 is 2 0 0.1 extra 2.1 right 4.1 minus 2 2.1 huh. where I where I can write it now shall I rub anything I think not needed h can be written directly h is equal to 56 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 2.1 divided by 56 comes here 1.6 2.1 10 to the power minus 19 3 into 10 to the power 16 that is equal to 10 to the power minus 35 should I write somewhere else okay is equal to 10 to the power minus 35 into remaining things calculator right so 56 hope you are doing along with me don't you not we may not be watching simply as if you watch a movie 56 uh, into 1.6 uh, and uh, into 2.1 is equal to divided by 3 is equal to 62.72 62.72 62.72 into 10 to the power minus 35 that is equal to 6.272 into 10 to the power minus 34 correct answer see I don't know whether this teaches you correctly photoelectric effect or not but it teaches you a lot of patience because you know the formula you know the data you know how to use calculator only the thing is patience till you get the answer of course its unit is joule second right sir how can it is joule second how h is joule second very simple simply to remember very simple to remember use the formula e is equal to h nu what is the unit of Planck's constant e is equal to h nu okay what is nu 
1 over period is called frequency. Frequency is the reciprocal of time. What is h is equal to et joule second. Finish. Joule second. That's all. And if you are asked to write what is the dimension of h, dimension of h. These are all extra things I am saying. Dimension of h. Dimension of energy. Sir, tell me any formula for energy. Say kinetic energy. Half m square. Right? Time. Time. Dimension of Planck's constant is equal to. Half has no dimension. Mass. Velocity square. Lt to the power minus 1 whole square. Any energy is okay. Work done is okay. Force into displacement you can write. No problem. Or mgh, potential energy, you can write. Any energy is okay. Half m square I have taken. Mass, velocity square, time t. So what is the dimension of h? m l square t to the power minus 2 t. So totally m l square t to the power minus 1. Correct? m l square t to the power minus 1. Finish. Okay, now this is the problem. So, do we have time? Enough time for next problem. Hope you have followed this one. Write, your, write two equations, subtract it. Only mathematical patience is very much needed here. Okay. Now, shall we move on to the next question? Yes. Even if you say no, I will move to the next question because I have to finish it, right? A beam of light of wavelength so much nano, um, so much meter delivers one microwatt of power to a photosensitive surface. Yesterday, in the previous class, we did such a problem. Wavelength, only one light now, 6.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter delivers power of one microwatt. That means, you know, 1 microjoules per second. Energy per second is what? How fast you deliver energy, that is power, right? Power is, see, you have units like uh, energy, power, what is the difference? You can spend energy, but how fast you can spend it, that is power. You can, um, uh, you can uh, take uh, a, 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 a JCB or a, a earth mover can lift 100 kgs of soil from the bottom of the building and it can put to the top of the building all at once. Can't you bring 100 kg of soil yourself from the bottom of the building to the top of the building? Daily while going from uh, uh, the ground floor to the top floor of your college, you just take one uh, uh, glass of uh, soil and put it over to the uh, top of the building. And when you do so for two months or three months, you will get 100 kgs of soil to shift it. But you have taken larger time. That is, your power is less. You have, to, you have done the same work. Work by time is power. So energy, work by time is joule per second. You have taken more time and less power. And JCB has taken less time, more power. It can do it at a time. Horse is uh, famous for power because it can run two distances or two points or a distance between two points in a shorter time. We can also run the same distance, but a longer time, right? Hussein Bolt is having more power. He can run it within a shorter time. But we can also run 100 meters, but we take a longer time. That's a problem. Okay, power is work by time. So, it delivers 10 to the power minus 6 joules of energy in one second. And remember, this much of joule is delivered not by one photon. Collection of photons. What is the energy of each photon? This much. At C by lambda. Now the question is, calculate the photoelectric current. Oh, we did this one, right? Yesterday. Beam of wavelength 6.8 in 10 over minus 7 meter. Calculate the photoelectric current assuming 10% efficiency. This is repeated. I think it is repeated. We had this problem earlier, right? Uh, yeah, this is third problem itself. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry, this is repeated. Uh, we will go to the next one. Oh, the, oh, I went back to the problem, yes, seventh one, yes, 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 it should be here. For a metal, the maximum wavelength required for a photoelectric emission. Last problem, it was sixth one, right? I went back, sorry, I wasted a little bit of time, but let, let, we will move. Uh, I don't cut the video and paste it, it takes a longer time. I'll continue, continue, this is discussed. For a metal, the maximum wavelength required for the photoelectric emission is 210 nanometer. That is minimum frequency, right? So, shall I write it as uh, um, this lambda naught? Lambda naught is 210 nanometer. 
maximum wavelength below which photoelectric emission takes place because if you decrease the wavelength energy increases minimum frequency above which photoelectric emission takes place okay uh, find the work function phi naught is how much hc by lambda naught right or h nu naught because work function is hc by lambda naught minimum one uh, sorry maximum one and that is equal to h nu naught but this formula is to be used and uh, if radiation of wavelength 150 nanometer falls if they give a wavelength of 150 nanometer which is uh, shorter than this that means whether this will be able to put the electrons out definitely wavelength less energy more if you take a threshold frequency frequency should be greater than threshold for photoelectric effect to take place and wavelength should be uh, lesser than the threshold this is possible correct problem when 150 nanometer falls on the surface find the maximum kinetic energy of electrons so what is kinetic energy maximum yes okay we will solve it now everything should be right written in the form of lambda incident energy at c by lambda okay we will find out the work function first right what is work function phi naught is equal to hc by lambda naught direct direct problem h 6.6 into now you have to uh, pretend as if you know lambda uh, sorry h uh, you know h but in the last problem you have to act as if there is no you don't know h you are finding out h 6.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 c by lambda naught what is lambda naught 210 into 10 to the power minus 9 so minus 9 plus 9 17 minus 34 minus 17 okay correct plus 9 yeah, 17 minus 34 minus 17 what else calculator <laughs> what is 6.6 uh, .6 into 3 into uh, uh, no no into divided by 210 divided by 210 so that gives you 0 0.094 0 0.094 into 10 to the power minus 17 uh, uh, joules am i right now if i bring uh, two more uh, points here point to here here two more points 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules multiply and divide by 100 you will get the answer divide by 100 makes this 10 to the power minus 19 multiplied by 100 makes it 9.4 am i right when you divide it, when it comes to the numerator, 10 to the power minus 2, minus 19. Multiply it, 9.4. Now, what is in electron volt? Everything is given in electron volt. So, if you want the answer in electron volt, phi naught is equal to 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. That means 9.4 divided by 1.6. That is 5.875. Okay, some a little bit mistake. 5.875 because they might have used 6.602 something like that. Uh, so here also 1.602, 6.62, uh, Planck's constant. Okay, uh, 5.875. Uh, no 10 to the power electron volt. Very close to this. Uh, 6.62. Some people use. Uh, otherwise they might have given. Okay. So work function we have got. Okay so then next part what is the what is the problem next part what is the kinetic energy of emitted uh, find the maximum kinetic energy of emitted electrons so shall i rub this now this is not needed this part is this is needed okay what is the maximum kinetic energy of emitted electrons hc by lambda uh, incident hc by lambda naught ready with us is equal to uh, is plus maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons hc by lambda that you have to calculate incident energy is 150 which is strong enough compared to 210 nanometer uh, 150 nanometer so hc by lambda that implies h 6.6 minus 34 c 3 into 10 to the power 8 lambda 150 nano is equal to this whole I have got the answer. I, I, I take care that everything is in joules. 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19 because this shouldn't be electron volt and this shouldn't be joules. Plus 
yeah, they are asking maximum kinetic energy. Kinetic energy maximum. Okay. What is this answer? It should also be 10 to the power minus 19. Uh, because if these two are in 10 to the power minus 19, you can subtract. Otherwise, uh, it becomes difficult. 17 minus 34. Again, 10 to the power minus 17. We will convert it into minus 19 later. 6.6 into 3 divided by 150 is equal to 0 0.132 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19 plus kinetic energy maximum the highest energetic electron which has come very close to the surface it has used less energy to come out so more maximum kinetic energy this can be written as 13.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 multiply 100 divide 100 is equal to minus 9.4 into 10 to the power minus 19. Shall I write it like this? This is 13 point into 10 to the power minus 19. This one brought here is equal to kinetic energy maximum. Okay. What is the answer? 13.2 minus 9.4. 13.2 minus 9.4. It is 3.8. Correct. 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules is the kinetic energy maximum. Now, how to put it in electron volt? That implies, I'll go to the place where I have space. Um, 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules. 3.8 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. 2 point, oh, you are getting the answer now. Uh, so, what is kinetic energy maximum? 3.8 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. That is equal to 2.375 electron volt. We have got the answer, right? So, uh, that's about uh, uh, this problem. Very simple, again. So roaming around the same formulas, just a small changes. We will go for one more problem. 7 is over. Uh, last problem. We have to finish it now. If a monochromatic source of light of wavelength 600 angstroms emits so many photons per minute, uh, calculate its power. Yes. Power means energy per second. Yeah. How many photons are released? What is the energy of each photon? Suppose energy of one photon. Where is the... Okay. Energy of one photon. Energy of one photon is Hc by lambda. But how many photons are released per minute? 6 into 10 to the power 22. Energy of 6 into 10 to the power 22 photons e is equal to how much? Uh, how much? 6 into 10 to the power 22 photons into energy of each photon. That is the total energy for any energy release. In 60 minutes, uh, sorry, in 60 seconds per minute. So what is power? Power is energy by time. That is equal to... Uh, how much energy? Um, sorry, uh, this one, uh, 6 into 10 to the power 22, 6.6 6 into 10 to the power minus 34, 3 into 10 to the power 8, divided by, what is lambda? Uh, wavelength is 6000 angstroms by this time. Energy is over, right? Time. 60 seconds. Calculate this power. So many watt energy by time. So energy is the number of photons into energy of each photon. Hc by lambda and divided by time. 60 seconds per minute. Yes. You have to do that so that my uh, video gets uh, um, another file before that. I will do that. 6 into 6.6 .6 into 3 divided by 6 I will do is equal to 19.8. Oh, I didn't get that. Uh, 6 into H. Oh, uh, uh, 6 into 20, 10 to the power 22. 6 into, okay, 6 into 6.6 6, uh, into 3 HC by lambda. 
6.6 into 3 divided by 6 19.8 I am getting not that bad 19.8 into 10 to the power uh, there is nothing in electron node right uh, energy energy is h c h c uh, by lambda and 6 into 10 to the power 22 uh, photons yes it is correct 6 into 6.6 .6 into 3 is equal to this much divided by 6 19.8 into 10 to the power so here are three zeros I have left with minus 7 plus 7 29 37 37 hc by lambda we didn't go anywhere wrong right 16 to 10 to the power 22 yes correct minus 10 uh, uh, minus 10 plus 3 minus uh, minus 7 10 to the power minus 7 by the time it reaches here plus 7 29 29 8 37 37 minus 34 10 to the power 3 so 19.8 into 10 to the power 3 watt somewhere this is wrong may be wrong 19 point I check it and tell me whether this answer is correct or not okay may be wrong because we have not gone any anywhere wrong number of photons energy of each photon uh, hc by lambda correct per minute and uh, if you multiply it by 60 per minute right per minute photons per minute so by 60 seconds so if you multiply it by 60 will you get that into 60 yeah no we don't get that but uh, that answer is wrong right again i'll check it 6 into 6.6 .6 into 3 divided by 6 19.8 into 10 to the power 3 watt may be wrong in answer okay so this is one see check it and if there is anything wrong in answer please give me a whatsapp message whether it is correct or not right then we will correct it in the later classes hope i will I have done correct no problem okay so power is energy by time yes because with this uh, I will stop the problems I will go to the next small topic that is uh, um, dual nature and then we will move on to another important chapter atoms nuclei and all so this may be easy these chapters are very easy okay so, hope you are following and uh, you are doing well follow these classes don't waste the time because uh, you know the thing again I don't want to say so hope you are waiting for the next class We'll meet in the next class. Thanks for watching. Thank you.